so much for this road. You just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. between you two. What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. <laughs> so what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it the last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> uh, a hydro who? It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across?
need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet. Oh, give it a spin. It's too small of a grave. I've got to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? I mean... What? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just... That's enough. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Gray. I know, I am too. All right, next squirrel I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Uh, should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. I own that shirt. I still think we should sell off our mocap suits for charity. Unwashed. Jeffrey Pierce. Who the lady said? Ashley Scott. Sorry, Ashley Hart. Oh, yes. Ashley Hart. She was married. Well, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. Uh, my goddamn the chemistry was so good between... The two of you them. and Jeffrey. It was amazing how well, and I mean, Jeffrey's just a few years older than me, but it was interesting being, playing the older brother to him. And yeah, we felt like brothers immediately. It was crazy. Oh, well, Jeffrey came, I mean, we almost cast Jeffrey yeah. as Joel. Uh, and then once, like, months later, we, we needed to cast Tommy. I was like, oh, well, what's, what's Jeffrey Pierce doing? That's, that's <laughs> Embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. And Ashley Scott, she came really close to being cast as Tess. And yeah. then when we needed Maria, I was like, oh, Ashley Scott. Scott. Every person. There was there were uh, no additions for, yeah. for these roles. I love this awkward setup of, of this is how he meets his sister-in-law. How he meets yeah. Jeffrey, you know, or, or Tommy's wife. Sorry. Why don't we bring him inside? And you get to see here now how Ellie's starting to become more secretive. Well, also, it's like... 
the way they're standing and everything, it's like Ellie's kind of alone now. Like now it's like Joel is with Tommy and... There's no one familiar with Ellie. False alarm! They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, you know, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no, you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, look, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Put some food in you. Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I've said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We had crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We we're doing it. travels quickly around these parts. Apparently. I kind of see the resemblance. I see. It's a compliment. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting. You too. What are you 
do for protection. The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We can get an electrified fence when the plants are. Yeah, you still got to deal with infected, though, right? Well, who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like hey, Marlene. Buddy. a good boy. These two geniuses are going to bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. All right. Do. To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Lower it. Slowly. That's good. Tommy's here. We good to go? Give me one second. Okay, good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. <laughs> God damn. We did it, boys. Nice work, boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. You see that? Pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joel. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Hey, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. The theme of redemption. Ah. Give us all a second chance. Why'd you leave Boston? We went through this so many times. I've been on quite the adventure and each one of them I thought was great in its own little version. It was just kind of like trying to pick the right one. But this is where you get to see. <sighs> well, Joel's putting up a front here. I mean, he's, he's trying to. He's pitching his little he, brother. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's so interesting to see them slip, how, how they're two different men, but they instantly go back into those roles that they were before. And just by the behavior here, you get um, right. hints of what happened in those 20 years. Right. How dark things went. Like, they're, they're playing nice. Right, they were happy to see each other, but now it's like, it's oh, right, right. The you haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's so true to life. Like, especially with brothers, you go back to that. I push these buttons and you do this. This isn't for me. Tommy, this is for your damn cause. My cause is my family. And I loved, I mean, what Jeffrey was doing posture-wise, putting Joel on the offensive. And, and now he's just, like, insulting everybody here yeah. and insulting his wife. Tommy, I need this. Again, just Joel just expects, I, I tell my little brother to do something, he needs to do it. Right. Which is totally based on my brother. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years, I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. 
Tommy here, is, I mean, Tommy and Maria show that, that even in this world, this world is horrible, you could find peace in it. Right. You could, you could build a community. You don't have to resort to these things that Joel has. That line was a great thing that, that Jeffrey improv on, put your hands on me again. It's a good Southern phrase. Shit! Bandit! Stop him! Don't let him into the building! See anything? We got him. Let's get to the bridge. Tommy, bandits are breaking into the building. This looks pretty Can you get out of there? No, we're trapped. We're gonna come to you. Just stay. They're here. Ellie, hide. Maria, god damn it. <laughs> Tommy, cover me. Sons of bitches. We gotta get to the girls. Right behind you. Right there. Joe, do your thing. Too damn close. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Go! 
This is where you see Tommy. Tommy realizes for the first time that Joel really cares for this girl. This isn't just a job. And that's where he has that change, and he's like, oh, crap. Um, this is why he's asking me to do this. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. And again, it's just such a real moment between a married couple. It's like, so what's that all about? Honor and and you know, <laughs> doing something for selfishness and everything else that doesn't play in this world anymore. Those are archaic ideals. Can I, tell you where the lab is? I don't want you to go out there because you're going to get killed, and we don't owe him anything. Because I'm sure all she knows is the 20 year old Joel, 20 year old version of Joel. Why would you risk your life for that guy? You hate him, essentially. One fuck up, and then I turn into one of those. Widows, okay? And for Ellie, it was, it was important to show that she could just read Joel. She has this bullshit detector that, just by the way he's answering her questions, she understands exactly what he asked Tommy to do. Maria. Here we go. Love this moment. Here we go. <laughs> if anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. The posture and everything. He knows he's in the wrong. He knows he can't ask Tommy to do this. <laughs> yeah. She's thankful, you know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, he really cares for you. There's so much more behind it, though, than that, than, than just care. It's, it's Tommy showing that he's the bigger man, that he's the better man. That he's allowing his brother to be shallow and well, selfish. Well, he's I mean, I, I think he's, he knows what his brother's been through. And he knows why he can't go through that again. Which way? I just saw her riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Be careful out there. There. See the tracks? Yeah. Come Couldn't have gotten far. We'll Let's find go. her. Don't worry. Stubborn kid. She usually pull these stunts. Nothing like this. What's going on? Well, she didn't go down this way. Horse tracks. Let's go. She went into these woods. Come on. Ellie, what are you thinking? There. More tracks. Okay, good. Goddamn minute. I got you covered. Go ahead, I'll cover you. Dead asshole. Light you up. Hey, stop.
Fucking gone. Spread out. That's all of them. Come on, back to the horses. Tracks keep going this way. Just hope they didn't get to her. By the ranch. That's our horse. She's got to be there. <laughs> there he looks clear. Be careful. Ellie?
This is probably my favorite scene. What a long day this was. Boys, movies, deciding which. I honestly think this is one of the best scenes that you wrote, Neil. Bizarre. It is. Because it says so much about this world and especially Ellie, where she's at and realizing how different and how much of a chasm there is between this world and that. I agree. Goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want? I, I, I think I really like about this scene is that they're both kind of, I guess, being selfish in a way. And yet it's be coming from a place because they really care about each other. Like they don't understand that they both have been through horrible things. And they each think what they've been through has been worse. I love that she calls him out on that. What are you so afraid of? How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? And it's like the stakes are high, and it's like, okay, well, then I'm gonna drop this bomb. Not her. It's like, how many years has it probably been for Joel since he even like Don't thought it about it, me. mentioned it? You have no idea what loss it is. I think Joel's thought of that name every day, but I don't think he's heard it said. That shove that you gave that was nowhere in the script. I I think that came out of. Frustration, definitely, because when we had come back and we couldn't find it, and I wasn't necessarily frustrated with you. I was frustrated with us in the scene, and I was like, oh, fuck. It's so cold of Joel to do this, and I've had people on the team ask me to remove this part, that he's being too cold, and I'm like, no, it's like, because she's being so vulnerable and he's having these feelings, he's trying to shut it down. That's why he's being so cold. It was so important for me to keep that in there. When he says, you're not my daughter, it's almost an insult. And it's kind of the opposite of what he's feeling. about you. this guy <laughs> <laughs> Let's
Let's get back to the horses. This scene was such a great opportunity to show even just like all these mini arcs with characters, you know, we don't have a lot of time and we're not gonna, we can, we can only tell Joel and Ellie's story. We can't go into such detail with Bill and Tommy and Tess and Marlene, but you get this great resolution between these brothers because you get the full arc of it in just a short, short amount of time. It's like the way I approached it is the seed has been planted. Like when she says, I'll just be more scared that Joel just needs time, and in time he will change his mind, because he doesn't want he doesn't want any deep down he doesn't want anything that will hurt Ellie or. So over there the idea is just this little horse riding montages. He's that change is brewing, and Gustavo's music doesn't hurt. And what's so great about how this plays out? is there's really nothing happening but just this passage of time. That used to be a level that you played through. And just during production cuts, we had to, we changed it. So it actually worked out better. It just became this idyllic idea that you never fully reach. You just see it from the outside. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Pointing out the, you know, this this moment that there was probably a time when these two used to watch college football together, you mm -hmm. know, and calling out, he's like, go big horns, you know, for our college that we made up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want one of their t-shirts so bad, University of East Colorado, <laughs> because Colorado is such a big state. I don't work coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town, let's discuss it at least. Me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You, you can't miss it. Yeah, and the, the idea of offering Joel a place, a place of yeah, refuge, a place of redemption. Well, and originally we had some, you know, I think there was a line that we had, that I threw in there. Something was like maybe someday or something. It was just too on the nose. We ended up saying we don't need that. Yeah. Just need to be a... The look is enough. Well, and the offer to me is enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if I get this straight. If you mess up your fourth down, then you give the ball to the other team? Right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. Yeah, that's confusing. <laughs> You just gotta play it a couple of times. It all makes sense. What kind of name is Callus, anyways? It's not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. Callus. Come back. All right, come. Okay. One of these buildings look like a nerd. Well, we'll head to Central Grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. Stay with Callus. 
hate that name. There was a lookout here. That's a good sign. There we go. Let's go back. So, these places, people would live here and just study, even though they were all grown up? Yeah, study, party, and find themselves. Figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do with their lives. Hey, over there. Is that it? <laughs> it does look like a giant mirror. people you think are there? Like fireflies, I mean. Well, I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. Do you think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Oh. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Now? Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. I'll go check it out. You sure? Yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's that. Hey, I was thinking, I would have wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. What about you? What'd you want to be? Uh, well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. No serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. Scooch. Let's go. Aw, are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. Let's go. That was kind of awesome. Well, first time seeing a monkey? First time seeing a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> 